Hey guys and girls, this is Gordon Overkill and right one day after the sad departure, the death of Tertius, because of my own pure stupidity, this is a new run of Adam. I have decided this time that I will play without any specific challenge, I will play a particularly tough class with which my chances to win will be very good and uh, all I want to do is do a successful, hopefully rather quick run finish that to get back, gain back a little of self-confidence. So here we go, let's generate a new character therefore. Our character is born in the month of the Raven, that's except uh, an, an, an excellent star sign. And I think it's especially good. Let us create, I'll create a male character. Let us play... Uh, a dark elf. Archer. Dark Elf Archer is one of my favorite combinations. So, here we go with our Dark Elven Archer. He has got two talents to start with. He definitely gets alert because he wants to become a missile weapon master at one point. But at first, I think uh, his second talent shall be Mizzer and then Treasure Hunter. Afterwards, he will go directly for the, the missile talents. How do we ca call our Dark Elven Archer? Hmm. I'll just make a mixture of Dark and Gordon and call him Darden. This is Darden, the Dark Elven Archer. Here he is. Since we are playing on a Monday, he starts uh, slightly exhausted, which means he has got uh, limited uh, certain hit points. Three hit points less. Anyway, let's see what kind of character we got. 23 points of dexterity, that, that's very good to start with. For an archer, 90 points of perception is nice. The magic points are not so important. I once read that they should be good also for uh, for uh, for a general luck of your character. So probably it will not be too bad to have. Appearance 16 was once totally useless. Nowadays it helps us against corruption. So fine. Uh, Charisma 8 means we will get very very little uh, money from the shops. Toughness 10 is not very much either. We have to improve that. Willpower 13. Strength 12, well, I can live with that in learning 15, gives us a fourth uh, skill increase per level, that's fine. We start with a protection value of 8. <laughs> that's, of course, that's amazingly great. We have got 5 points from an elven chainmail, that's one of the reasons why I like to play dark elven archers. And we've got 3 points from an amazing pair of boots, that's fine. Uh, the uh, negative point is that we start with a hand crossbow and you do not find corals very often. Luckily we have got some good quarrels here to start with. Let's start with this big stack of 21 Dark Elven quarrels. Got a flat reset either. A spider bed, some money. That looks quite fine for me. Here we've got our skills and what I wanted to show you here is uh, that we start with find weakness. That's the second reason why I like Dark Elven archers. Find weakness is an excellent skill for archers. Our skills to increase will first, of course, be very high priority archery, then alertness, dodge, find weakness. I think I will not do first aid because I hope that the enemies will not hurt us. Fletchery should be early on. Concentration also. We've got a very nice skill, skill set, and I'm really lucky that we. Uh, I'm really happy that we got uh, four increases per level. Well, here we go. First aim, as always, small cave. On the way we get attacked by a couple of hobgoblins and I think with an archer I'll fight them. Why not? Here they come. Shoot the first guy. Nice. So our first wait. An ordinary hobgoblin and a hobgoblin leader. These were our first kills. And they have no chance. We are quite a powerhouse. Yeah, archers really rule. Are there still some arrows on the ground? No, oh, I think we already lost a couple of our quarrels. But we got a breath. Not bad. Lost five quarrels, but got a breath. We did not make a level, which is also fine for me, because I uh, wanted to enter this place at level one. Let's read these scrolls. That's of course... Oh, come on, read it. You can do it, come on. 150 pieces until uh, the, the blanket. Time works against us. We know that. We know that. 
There is a spare in this uh, corridor. I want to get this spare. A stone spare? Not bad. Definitely be better than this sword of ours. Because it is, uh, it cannot be destroyed by acid. And also, it uh, has a better defense bonus. Square key. I will try to scout this place already a little. Okay, we level to level 2, okay. Cross those level 2. Because we've got enough ammunition, so I'm not afraid that we'll get out of here. So, once archery. Oh, that was a bad increase. However. Um, once alertness. Find weakness. And I also start with Fletcher Redirectory, because I want to get that up. I think against an ordinary red with eight points of protection that should be no problem. Eh, what do you throw at me? A knife. I don't care about that knife. Do not get much money from that either. I just think I could make use of our nice starting equipment in order to get us the waterproof blanket. That would definitely be good to have. And I hope that we won't level too fast. Ah, that's a little tricky beginning. I hope that will work. Do again similar talents to last time. Fletchery is not an option now. What can we get? Can we get a couple to in concentration? Also, we get our treasure hunter talent now. Here we got it. If we have to kill these enemies, we will at least get the best possible loot from them. There's a dark room. Uh, I will check that. Something passes closely beside our head. Well, I need to find out if this is the room. Ah, it's a bat. Okay. I'm not surprised. And here we've got the blanket. Excellent. So now let's get out of here quickly. I will just check if probably the stairs are also somewhere in here. But it doesn't seem so. No. However, I will not take any additional risk. I, uh, well, I might take a look through this door if it's not locked. Here are the stairs. That's excellent. So we know now where, th where to find the stairs if we want to go into the unremarkable dungeon. Excellent. That's cool. We found the downstairs and we got ourselves the blanket. And made it to level 3. Good start. Next aim is the black market, because I want to know if there are some nice things to identify in there. So, no hostile guys around. Windmill, don't need that. Rocks, probably, probably. I think I will buy these rocks. Want of stuff. Want of stunning is fine, but I think too expensive at the moment. We know now how scrolls of identify look, that's excellent. We know cure poison, that's excellent too. Small key, uh, why did I pick that up? And potion of blindness, oh, that's some nice things here. I'll buy all these rocks. Treasury set, okay, that's too expensive. Potion of confusion, we know a lot of very important things now. Uncursing, wow, that was a great stack of items that he had. I wanted to sell something. What was it? The scrolls. Anything else? Don't think so, no. Just buy the rocks for 56, just in case we run out of quarrels. And we might get up here and learn pickpockets. Don't know if we will need it. Probably not. It was certainly not bad to have it. With which with which quest will we start? I think we have neither healing nor herbalism. <coughs> but I do not really think that I need it. So I'll take the healer quest from uh, this nice guy, Hots and Pots. You could do me a favor, Bob. Kill the damn sheriff in Terinio. Such an annoying guy. I'll do you a favor, excuse uh, Shit, I should have taken the quest first in <laughs> Terinio, I think. 
Well, uh, however, and then we have to do the traditional healer quest. Hey, Elburp. Nice to meet you. So, we have to go down into the dungeon. Well, I, I, I might probably... Uh, do I? Do I not? I'll try to kill Kana. Probably we'll get him. So if we get the chance, we'll do a very quick change of alignment. Otherwise, I want to try one thing. Marching through this forest. If we can still get the chaotic healer quest now. It's just for research reasons, because I want to know if that's possible. Do me a favor. Kill the annoying healer. Oh, it works. Fine. So we can also get the, the healer caress from Karnak if we... Getting hungry? Eat something? Eat the bread, yes. And we start with this dungeon. Village dungeon. I'm not yet sure which quest to take. If we take the traditional uh, uh, lawful quest or if we take the uh, chaotic quest. Polarms level one, fine. The question is, I I think in the beginning I will try to. Well, uh, hmm. no, we should make use of our missiles. We are a missile character. We should use them. Everything else would be stupid. This is the most dangerous part of the game. We will not use this crossbow in the long term anyway. So here we go. Archery up. Alertness up. Dodge up. And one more on Fletchery. That orc. And I will completely scout these levels just in case we find something nice. As I said, my aim is a very easy, boring, uh, uh, unexciting uh, victory. <laughs> Well, we'll see if that happens. Uh, usually, uh, you cannot plan an easy aid of run. If the RNG wants you to get into trouble, you will get into trouble. But well, I will not force it. I will not uh, take bigger risks than uh, necessary. Let's kick this door, for example. That is a little risky. Oh, and it falls in our, our direction. Luckily, we were able to evade. Thanks to our uh, alertness skill. Okay, I cannot use missiles against all of them. Come on, finish them off. Much bad cost, we'll eat that later. Okay, that's a good chance to train a little with our melee weapons. Archery. Uh, Find weakness. I think I'll put a couple of points on stealth and probably concentration. Good. Amber potion, interesting. Large version. Whoa, that looks nice. Large shield. Fine. And this guy dropped a couple of rocks. I think we will directly equip this large shield. Okay, plus five, plus one. It's an ordinary large shield, but that's one point of protection and it's five points of defense. And our large battle rots away. So let's eat it before it's totally gone. Downstairs here. Hard girdle. That's something. A girdle of carrying. Oh, and that was a little stupid of me. If it was cursed, I would have been in big trouble. Do not want to wear a cursed girdle of carrying. Concentration, concentration. No unnecessary risks. Are we finished with this level? Seems so, doesn't it? Yes. Slowly but surely we're running short on quarrels. So I should 
sooner or later we have to change to our rocks. At least we've got a couple of them, it's not so bad. Okay, okay. Running really short. That's the Warhammer, sells quite fine. I'm not gonna wear any ugly clothes. Darden will be a stylish game winner. So. Time has almost come to change our missile weapon. Our last quarrel, if I'm correct. Now we're out of quarrels. Yes, we are. So, time to train some rocks. As I said, that's the big disadvantage that you just do not find these tiny quarrels early on. So, you can easily run out of uh, missile power with a dark elven archer. And then, of course, you have to take good care. We have downstairs. Just in here because we got hungry. Here is the healer. Hello, nice to meet you. No need for your service at the moment. better rock thrower of the both of us. But, um, probably I will not train throwing rocks at all, but rather use that sling. Yeah, I'll do that. Because it's somewhat cool. And who knows, probably we will get the whirlwind later and then we will, we will be happy if we have got uh, the sling skill trained a little. Level 6. From now on, missile attacks cost but 800 energy points. Excellent. So, twice on archery, almost get it on uh, maximum. And the second thing to increase will be flattery. One more left. Dodge. Also, now it's time to start getting ourselves the shooting talents. So we start with good shot. That red. We found that sling. Killed the pixie. Well, no corpse. If we got a pixie corpse at this very moment, that would have been kind of a, a tricky decision to make. Hey, stop that. Slings to level one, fine. And apply first aid if still possible. Yes, one point back. Girl carrying, brass braces are useless. And this level is done. Down to level 5. I will definitely try to do both the quests. First, save the... Oh, what was that? Sounded like a trap. First, I'll try to save the carpenter and afterwards kill the healer, I think. We're also we're not bad in melee because of 9 points of protection value. That's very, very good for this part of the game. This time in the run, that's what I mean. 
tools, could check them later. Sling skill already up to level one. Okay, I want to get this to level three as quick as possible for the additional range. Okay, there was a trap at that door apparently and the rock thrower activated it. Now the sling mod we already have a quite nice one, so probably it's not better. Very likely it's not better. Is this stack of rocks on the ground there that I left? I think I saw something like that. It is a rock indeed. No ammunition to waste, that's for sure. And get down here. My boots, surely that's the secret door, yes. That eat this. Well, so far we're doing quite well, I think. Uh, oh, that's dangerous. We need to get rid of that snake. We are not quick enough. I think I'll try in defensive mode to throw, shoot rocks at it. That one's killed. That's good. Need more rocks. Come on, shoot. Good. Now we've got one shoot from a distance. Berserk. Crap. And this one's there too. And I think there's another one left. Yeah, come on, kill it. Nice. I think we killed all the snakes now. That was dangerous. We found a mithril dagger. Better than a stone spear, probably. Probably not, I do not want to learn daggers in the long term, so I just say with the spear because of the better bonus to our defense value that helps, helps us more. We do not want to rely on melee damage anyway. Still so low on hit points, that's probably our weakest spot right now, our low hit points. Need to increase that as soon as possible. And therefore, we need to increase our toughness score. Oh, see how low dam our uh, damage output is in melee. Level 7, archery to 100. Excellent. Um, find weakness. Oh, that was bad. I think I put one more on find weakness. Or probably rather stealth. stealth. It's good that we've got Archery 100 now. Gives us access to the... Uh, oh, I do not need this tome. It's not even a spellbook. You can see that by the weight. A spellbook weights 100 stones and not 150. Here are the downstairs. And I think this should be the bottom level. So somewhere on this level, Darius. Eryx, the mad carpenter. Kill that ghost, come on. I'd like to scout that level probably. I think our protection value is high enough to play a little around with Eryx. Iron boots, nice. Let's equip them. No, 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 let's not equip them. We've got super boots. Probably the best leather boots ever made. The only problem is it could, of course, happen now that we get trapped between Eryx and a really, really tough opponent, but I think there are not many enemies around here who are a lot tougher than a barbarian leader. Okay, but we got also some damage here. Oh, no need to kill these guys. Ow, 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 ow. not nice. i rather retreat. The lucky hit, he can get through our armor every time. So we should rather play it a little safer. Did he pick up this stuff? What was that? Flint and steel, okay. Take that with you, that's nice. There he is, a pixie in the way. I think defensive mode against the pixie, good. Where are the stairs? Up there. What happened? Get a strength increase. Nice. 
that's the advantage of walking around strange. Oh fuck. We should use the sling rather. The nice thing is we've got really, really, really high speed because of our uh, Raven star sign. So we can, with a speed bonus from, from coward mode, we can outrun him although we are strained. So we need to get around here. Ouch, he hit us, but just one point of damage. Can that be bad? This is level 5. Getting closer to level 4. There he is, yes. There he comes. Nah, I don't care about this guy. Come on, Eryx. One more step up. Nice. And somewhere here is the healer. I'm not exactly sure in which room it was. Should better have remembered. Come on, Eryx, where are you? Here. Try this room first. No, he's not here. Probably the room in the center. Oh, fuck. Defensive mode. And kill him with one shot, that's good. Also not here. But we can easily kill that bat not be a problem. Was he here in the second room? Yeah, I think he was. Yes, there he is. So, he heals him by just pet, uh, putting hand at his forehead. So let's pick up the hatchet, the manual. That's fine, that's everything we wanted. So, nice. So what do you think? Do you want to Heal just healing? You don't? Well, you, you are allowed to heal us, but just so we can afterwards kill you with a rock. Haha! <laughs> that was not so nice, probably, but. Uh, <laughs> what can you do? He did not want to, teal, uh, to teach us healing. I think I'll ignore the remaining parts of the, of the bottom level. I do not want to walk down and up and up and down all the time. Let's rather go back to the surface and there end the first episode. I think we did quite fine. I've got a tough character to start with, of course. A raven-born dark elven archer. That's really, really tough. And even one with a especially good armor. So... Just have to make sure that we make use of this early game boost. Not mess it up. And succeed in this run. Doing fine with the with the with this thing. Pick that up. Pick that up. Put it down here. Leave the room, and this is the place where we will stop the first episode. So uh, thanks for watching, everybody, and I hope to see you all again for the next episode of the Adventures of Daron. Until then, bye, everybody.